Recently, DJI has been focusing mainly on lightweight models. This is understandable because it is the best selling segment of the drone market due to affordability, portability and more relaxed regulations. I have recently compared the DJI Flip to the Mini 4 Pro for videos and photos. Another lightweight DJI model is the affordable Mini 3, selling at a price similar to the Flip. In this video I will compare them for video quality and functionalities. The Mini 3 was released in December 2022, six months after the Mini 3 Pro, as a more affordable option. Several important features of the Pro model are missing to justify the lower price tag. The Flip and the Mini 3 have the same sensor sides, one over 1.3 inches, with a field of view of 24mm and a wide aperture of f1.7. However, the Mini 3 has a lower maximum bitrate, 100 Mbps, compared to 150 for the Flip. A higher bitrate means less compression in the video file and thus more info retained and better performance in heavy post-processing. But the 100 Mbps in the Mini 3 is already a relatively high value and the difference does not seem to affect image quality in the normal mode. The Flip has a maximum frame rate of 100 frames per second at 4K for super slow motion, while the Mini 3 is limited at 30 frames per second. This means that with the cheaper model it's not possible to apply any real slow motion. It is certainly a limitation, as slowing down the footage is an excellent way to add interest, especially when filming close to a moving subject, but probably not a deal breaker for most casual users. The basic Mini 3 is not supplied with the three-directional obstacle sensor of the Pro model. The lack of an obstacle detection system is a major limitation in terms of safety, not only for beginners. The Flip has a forward infrared sensor to detect obstacle in front of the aircraft and a downward one for landing. The Mini 3 doesn't have the three intelligent flight modes grouped under the name Focus Track, Active Track, Spotlight and Point of Interest. This is a very important limitation for two reasons. First of all, there are no tracking capabilities and this is a very popular functionality for following moving targets or for vlogging. Also, using the modes Spotlight and Point of Interest, it is possible to maintain a static target in the same position in the frame while performing all sorts of moves. I use these modes constantly and I find them invaluable for producing flawless cinematic footage. Master Shots has also been taken away from the Mini 3. The only automated model available in the basic model is Quick Shots. The Mini 3 doesn't have hyperlapse, a feature that I use a lot, but it relates more for photography than to video, so I will analyze it in another video comparing photography with the two models. The Flip is equipped with all the intelligent features of the flagship Mini 4 Pro, except for waypoint mode. In terms of intelligent features, it's a huge win for the Flip. The Flip is a versatile drone with an unusual shape. The propellers are protected by bulky fixed guards, making it safer indoors or in confined space with obstacles at a low altitude. They also protect people in case of collisions. The flip side, forgiving the pun, is that it is less aerodynamic than traditional models like the Mini 3. The announced wind resistance is the same, but the Mini 3 performs slightly better in frontal medium to strong winds at a high altitude. Unlike the Mini 3, the camera of the Flip cannot rotate to vertical orientation. Footage in portrait mode can be obtained by selecting the vertical 2.7 resolution. The results are acceptable for social media use. The announcery battery life in the Flip is quite good at 31 minutes against the 38 of the Mini 3. An excellent performance. The video transmission of the Mini 3 is based on the outdated Ocus Inks 2 versus Ocus Inks 4 for the Flip. 
The transmission of the signal varies a lot according to geographic location. Here in Europe, I got disappointing result with the Mini 3. In the flip, the transmission system is Oculus Inc. 4, the same as the Mini 4 Pro. In my test, the flip performs even better. This area has strong interferences due to several telecommunication aerials. There are also some buildings and trees between the controller and the aircraft. I never managed to fly this far with any other DJI prosumer drone. Since the two models share the same sensor, we might expect similar footage quality. But the camera is only a part of the equation. The Flip has the same image processor introduced with the Mini 4 Pro, to replace the one of the Mini 3 and 3 Pro. A DJI also constantly tweaks the processing algorithm and I notice slight difference in footage quality between the Flip and the Mini 4 Pro. Here you can see some footage taken with the Flip and the Mini 3 in similar light conditions. I detect more detail and richer colors in the flip. Let me know your opinion in the comment below. By turning down the camera for bird's eye views, we notice even more the difference in detail. Some users even find that the flip footage is too sharp. But in the camera tab of the settings, it is possible to fine tune the sharpness value. You can see the results here. The Flip was released well over two years after the Mini 3. Plenty of time to adapt the image processor and the algorithm to the new camera. The quality of low light footage with the Flip is simply astonishing. The Mini 3 cannot even remotely compete. In the flip there is a second color profile not available with the Mini 3, D-Log M. It is a 10-bit flat profile capable of displaying over 1 billion colors. It responds better to color grading for adapting a clip to the color scheme of specific projects. DJI supplies a lot for D-Log M with a flip. You will find a link in the description of this video. The presence of this color profile is another major deciding factor in favor of the flip for users who rely on computer post-processing. Click on this link to watch my comparison between the Flip and the Mini 4 Pro for video. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.